Hi dolls. Today I wanted to channel my inner Sophia Loren and give you guys a 50s movie star Barbie makeover. The head I am using is a Barbie Fashionistas number 18. If you're wondering why I have been working a lot on Fashionistas lately, it's because they sometimes have interesting face molds and they're affordable. Also, I just visited my parents in Italy and saved a lot of these dolls from inevitably going moldy in the basement. Thanks, mom. I've never truly liked this doll. Something about the color scheme and that vomit-inducing outfit just doesn't sit right, but she has potential. I start by removing the neck bag that got stuck in the head. Then, I cut off that incredibly gluey hair. I will link my video right here if you want to find out how to solve this without rerouting. Then, I take a flathead screwdriver and effectively scrape the glue from the inside. And I wanted to show you just how large these chunks were. Next, I paint her scalp to match the new hair. For her reroute, I wanted to go for that classic Sophia Loren dark hair with highlights. I use a mixture of dark brown, black, and some blonde I kindly borrowed from this very generous and willing donor. Because the brown hair is so short, I couldn't fold it in half like I usually do. So I bent it around my finger enough to create a loop, rooted it, then cut off the part that sticks out, and I stabbed the stubby part back into the head. This is a great technique if you want to reuse hair, but in all honesty, this took me an entire day, so make of that what you will. Next, I remove the factory paint with acetone. And I curl the hair by putting it in foils. Wrapping it around the rollers and pinning it to secure. After her perm, I start on the face up. I started out with three coats of MSC, so I could get the maximum payoff out of these pressed pigments. I contoured her eye sockets, cheekbones, and nose with the usual taupe brown. Then I started sketching out her eyes in grey. If we're talking Sophia Loren, I can't help but give her a side eye. <laughs> I got a new camera and I'm still figuring out my angles and lighting, so forgive the overexposure and awkward angle, I'll get better I swear. The eyebrows honestly took me the longest time to get right, but that's only a few seconds for you. The wonders of editing. I gave her green eyes by alternating between three shades of green pencil. Once her eyes were even, I went in with black to intensify everything. I cut the crease with white to bring the eyelid forward visually. And I went back and forth between brown pencil and brown pigment to darken and smoke out her crease. I 
I drew her teeth in with white. And I outlined her lips in pink. And I finally moved on to acrylics. And starting with her teeth, I admittedly quite sloppily painted them in. Then I went over the lips and perfected everything with a muted pink acrylic. And I intensified the eyeliner with black. are so tiny that I had to add catch lights using a pin. And lastly, I glossed her using glossy varnish. Now for her dress. I have had this gorgeous golden sateen fabric for the longest time and I just knew I had to make a dress out of it. I know doll people are iffy about scale when it comes to printed slash embroidered fabrics, but I don't care, oversized prints exist for humans too, so sue me. I cut the pieces for the bodice, and I put darts in. Then I sewed the back panels to the front right sides together. Then I gather my skirt. And I sew it to the top. Then I put snap closures in the back. And lastly, I made her a quick fall first toe. Time for the hair. First thing, I gave her a trim. Then I separated the bangs section and two small section near the ears. I swooped the bangs, and when I was finally happy with the shape, I secured it by putting it underneath the piece of hair I sectioned earlier. And I tied the two pieces in the back. Then I simply curled the hair around my finger into a classic 1950s hairstyle. Next, I gave her some lashes. And we can't forget diamonds, because diamonds are what? The scam of the century. And that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more. Also follow me on TikTok and Instagram if you want to keep in touch and have more exclusive content. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon.